Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Mr. Tom Froze. I'm an illustrator and top teacher on Skillshare where I've helped well over 100,000 students unlock the world of commercial illustration. Welcome to the channel. So a few weeks ago, a few of you suggested that I keep my news and updates as separate videos, which I actually think makes a lot of sense. So this video is not a true or a full episode, but just a vlog update with some news about how things are going around here. So this is, yeah, this is just some raw stuff from the, the front lines, like from the trenches, really. So how, however it goes, I hope you find it interesting. So I'm in between part one and part two of episode uh, 111, where I'm sharing the process of preparing for and painting my studio mural, which is over there. And I'll, I'll do the reveal, the official reveal in the next part of the episode. And I'm hoping that will drop next week. Anyway, this week I did find a window of time to start producing and recording my next Skillshare class. And, and, and I knew that if I didn't get that done now, like this week in that window, it wouldn't happen or may not happen until the new year. And that would not be good because then I would make my goal of doing at least two classes for this year. So first, I just want to give you a quick update on the book that I'm writing. Uh, I'm working with a publisher and we're still in the very early stages of the book. And, you know, we've been working probably since around June on the outline and planning stages. And we're still really just trying to define the vision of the book. Like, what's the unique angle uh, of my particular subject? How are we going to package it all up in 160 pages? You know, things like what's the experience of the book. How are we going to guide the reader through the, the subject? And it's proving way harder to get past this, this, these early planning stages. Just like I haven't written, I've written a ton, but I haven't written, uh, I haven't gotten past basically the outline and the actual like essence of the book. It's harder to get past this stage than I thought. So uh, there's just been a lot of back and forth with my editor. And well, let me just put it this way. Last night I was up, uh, all night until after 6 a.m. And I was really scrambling to put together what's called a book map. That's where you map out uh, how the content will flow over 160 pages, thinking about, you know, how many pages or spreads does a, a given section get? And where, even thinking in terms of where would images be and where are the chapter headings going to go and stuff like that. But I can't really do that until I have an actual formalized outline. And even I've been struggling to get that, like I said, and to get to this outline, I need to really understand like, what is the, 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 the thing that I'm, I'm trying to talk about in this book. And, and for me, it, it sometimes just comes down to what, what would I name the book? What is the the salient nugget of truth or the, the profound insight that I'm trying to reveal in, a, in this book, that should be something I could at least summarize in a working title. And even that's been a struggle. I probably have written over a hundred different hypothetical t titles. I've gone back to the outline a dozen times. And I think what's happening is that uh, I just really am putting a lot of pressure on this book to be amazing because I've never written a book with a publisher before. You know, I've done kids books and stuff like that. I haven't written them, but I've illustrated for them. That's a process I know my way around and I'm very confident in. I'm, I'm working on a kid's book right now and that's actually working out uh, beautifully. It's, uh, it's, it's just this part where it's all on me to come up with this, the subject and the angle. I mean, what else would a book from me be but that? I'm used to doing this for my, my classes, but there's something about the fact that it's it's a printed book with a real publisher that, that I think is really getting me all in my head. And like I said, I was up like all night last night, just uh, racing to get this book map to my editor because I'm behind on a few deadlines. I'm, I feel like I'm making them nervous. I thought I was hoping to come this morning to my publisher uh, and meet this deadline of this book map. And I didn't. After all night, I just kept spinning my tires. I'm very stuck in doubt and uncertainty. This is, this is really bad. I mean, this is stuff that I've worked through as an illustrator and overcome by, um, I've created coping mechanisms, I've created um, processes and systems and frameworks and all that kind of stuff to get through that. That's in a way what I teach a lot about 
in my classes, what I teach a lot about, what I'm, I think I'm trying to teach a lot about in this book as well. So it's kind of ironic that the book itself is is uh, not working out for me in spite of these, these great strategies and insights that I have. Um, it really comes down to, like I said, I'm, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this book to be um, amazing. Uh, and, and, and I think there's this feeling of like, this is my one chance. But it also comes down to the fact that I'm just inexperienced as a writer, and this is showing. And so I know that back when I was beginning to illustrate professionally, Things would take this long. I would be doing a lot of all-nighters. I did this also as a new designer just out of art school. All-nighters are a thing when you're at the very beginning. You have to do this to figure out, you know, how do you do things? And in a way, that's a good thing. I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing what a lot of my students are experiencing on the illustration side. I'm experiencing that as a new writer. So it does come down to inexperience. And yeah, let me just say, like, just one more thing. And... And then I'll move on to the next bit of news or update or whatever. In my sketchbooking practice, I, I show up every day and I spend some time drawing. The drawing might be good or the drawing might not be so good, but I don't worry about it because tomorrow I'm going to do another drawing. And that one has a chance of being better than the one I did the day before. With this book, it feels like it's all on this one book, it's all on this one creative act to, um, to be amazing and to prove myself. So where we're sitting with this book now is I actually emailed my editor today with a very honest email. I said, look, I'm, I'm getting super stuck in this. I need to pull back. I need a, a little bit of a break and do, a, do some kind of a reset. So he's been very gracious with me and I guess I should just leave the book alone for the weekend and come back into it on Monday with a fresh head. That's gonna be hard for me because I'm obsessing about it right now. I want to solve this problem, but I don't think I can until I've get, given myself a bit of distance from it and come in with a fresh mind. So I'm hoping I can take the weekend off and, and not really think about it a whole lot. Anyway, since you know recording my, my class videos earlier this week, the book really dominated the rest of the week. And that's why the second part of episode 111 is delayed until next week. So the next update is about my kids book that I'm working on. I'm happy to say I'm going into the full illustrations for uh, the book. And that means all the hard work of doing the sketches and getting them approved with the publisher and their client, that's all done. Everything's been given the green light and it's just time to make the finished art. So honestly, in spite of my challenges, I have a rich and full little creative life happening here. It's just a ton of work and it's more or less kicking my butt right now. So I'll just close off and say that this year, has been way harder in the past few years in terms of seeing growth on the financial side. I'll just close off and say that this year has been way harder than the past two years in terms of seeing growth, especially on the financial side. And I'm working a lot harder uh, and, and not seeing as much gains from that work. And I think we're, we're all experiencing this. The illustration industry has slowed down quite a bit and my passive income sources are dropping, likely in step with, with what's happening in the overall economy right now. But alongside this struggle and like, a, like in spite of, you know, what I'm going through with my, my book that I'm writing, I'm feeling this renewed sense of adventure. And <laughs> I'm going to say it, I'm feeling a renewed sense of hustle. The fact that I can't take success for granted like I've been able to in the past couple of years is making me hungrier and it's making me work harder and I'm connecting more with my work and my purpose. I don't ask for hard things to happen, but when they come, I like to think that I roll up my sleeves and try and be a big boy and, and roll with the punches and use this as a time to really reconnect with my purpose, really reconnect with um, the sense of struggle that really can feed our creativity in ways that can't if everything is just kind of coasting. Anyway, there is so much more that I could share about what's going on here, but I think this is enough for one little vlog update. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your patience as I find <laughs> the time to put out more content for you here on the channel. Stay tuned. I'll be back soon.